from the time they were kids. These two were best friends. Besides just sharing a first name, Austin Davis and Austin Farrell had a lot in common. But as they got older, things started to change. You know, hearing those, I was I was a little upset about it, obviously, because, you, you know, me and him were best friends when we were in middle school. Farrell started to learn about Davis's track record after the eighth grade, a string of charges with felonies and misdemeanors, including battery on a school board employee. He reached out to me and, and you know, and asked me if there's any way that I can help him, you know, kind of make this, this business grow and help him, you know, do what he wants to do with it. So I said, absolutely. It's that troubled past, though, that brings these two together today and has enlightened Davis on a new path that they now share. My company is the John Doe Movement. His goal, a movement that will help the everyman or woman pursue their dreams despite setbacks. My first got arrested when I was 14 years old, my freshman year of high school, and it was actually a felony, so it was a pretty big one, and I ended up getting kicked out of school. Their laughter, a clear and, uh, indication yeah, that this is yeah, a part of the past Davis can no longer it. relate to. We can look back on it now and like, wow, you know, we were young and stupid. His bad like, decisions how, how have haunted him, he says. He had to sit on the bench for baseball, and a National Guard member, he was denied the opportunity to be on active duty. But things really changed for Davis this past year. He's now a father to a 10-month-old boy, and he's a newlywed. I don't want him to have to feel like he has to have the same struggles that I did growing up, um, and also having the same struggles as not knowing what he wants to do in life. Farrell also has a full-time job outside of this movement and a fiancé. Together, they want to create a clothing line for their movement, start a mentorship program, and get into motivational speaking for young adults. What can we do to help these guys, you know, really understand what we're talking about and what we're trying to do? That, you know, it's okay what you've been through. What you've been through makes you who you are today, and that's what can ultimately make you a better person in the future. For First Coast News, I'm Shelby Danielson on your side.